After the miracle of staging World Youth Day, organisers are faced with producing another, returning Randwick to the horses, trainers and punters. This afternoon they moved the masses off the track and began bringing Sydney back to relative normality. It started as a trickle of strollers before the mass had even finished. <laughs> There's a lot of people leaving quite soon, yeah. And as prophesized, first a few, then once the Pope made a backstage exit, thousands. An exodus of biblical proportions. The official count, 400,000 people. Sydney's transport faced its greatest challenge. For access to city trains and city buses, please turn around and head back to Central Station. But the crowd was happy to walk. The happiest were pilgrims from the next World Youth Day host country. Will take place in Madrid, Spain. We want to say to everyone that come to Madrid. They'll have to get through this crowd first. So while the pilgrims make their way home, the authorities have to turn this place back into a racetrack. They're spending $15 million to get it done by the end of August. This mess will have to go. They've got their work cut out for them. The church certainly thinks it's worth it. Sydney has really been, been struck by a tsunami of faith and joy. That's a lot of love. Sean Berry, 7 News.